Hey guys, this is Steven from Credit a la Carte, and in this video, I wanted to talk about Chase finally gracing us with its quarter four freedom category. But before I get into that, Credit a la Carte is a blog and a YouTube channel that's dedicated to not only travel hacking, but also general credit knowledge. So if you're interested in either of those two categories, make sure to like the video and subscribe for all of our latest and greatest content. So every time I make one of these videos, I'm probably going to complain about this, but there are a couple of other cards outside of the Chase Freedom that do offer a 5% rotating category, and that changes every quarter. So I will probably always complain anytime I make one of these videos, but all the other companies that do offer one of those type of cards, namely City and Discover, they always, at the beginning of the year, introduce all of their categories for the rest of the year so you know exactly how you need to plan out your year uh, spending on the card. Chase on the other hand does not do that it instead releases the categories two weeks before the <laughs> beginning of the quarters. It is a little frustrating but it is nice when we do know exactly what the category is. Without further ado there are three different ways that you can earn five percent back on the Chase Freedom card for quarter four. PayPal, Chase Pay, and department stores. So PayPal should be pretty self-explanatory, but pretty much anytime you buy something on eBay or really just online in general, and it gives you an option to pay with PayPal, make sure to pay with PayPal. Make sure that the uh, payment source is the Chase Freedom Card, so add it to your PayPal account, and then you should be good to go. This is kind of just speculation, but I'm pretty sure you can just pay with your credit card without using a without actually having an account so long as you have that sort of pay with credit card option then i think you will be earning that five percent back assuming that you use your chase freedom card so the second category is chase pay now for those of you out there with samsung phones this is an easy quarter no problem you're going to be earning five percent back everywhere all you have to do is download the chase pay app and when you download the Chase Pay app, once you download the app, you can set it up to pay with Samsung Pay, which is awesome. As I'm sure you guys know watching my videos is that Samsung Pay you can use just about anywhere you can swipe a credit card. So pretty much anywhere that takes Samsung Pay and you're going to be earning 5% back very easily. If you do not have a Samsung phone, then it, you're probably at a disadvantage here, but there are a few places that still accept Chase Pay. It's just very far and few in between. Probably the best places that you could use Chase Pay are Best Buy and gas stations that participate in the program. It's a little awkward Chase Pay, just in, in stock form, it's a little awkward. It uses like a whole QR code system. I think if you go at the pump, then it, like you have to like load up Chase Pay somehow with the machine. It's a little awkward, but if you have Samsung Pay, use it really easy way to earn 5% back. The last and final place is department stores. So pretty much your Macy's, your Saks Fifth Avenue, your Nordstrom, JCPenney, Kohl's, that sort of that sort of place that you consider a department store. Now normally I think this would be kind of a hard one to hit for most people because in my opinion I think department stores are can be pretty expensive but keep in mind that this is quarter four which includes Black Friday and pretty much all of your holiday shopping will be in quarter four. So. So there may be some good deals at department stores, which you may want to consider. Just remember that anytime you do pay at a department store in this quarter, you're going to want to use your Chase Freedom Card to earn that 5% back. But before quarter four starts and before you make that first purchase, make sure, remember to activate the offer. And you have to do this every single quarter and it's annoying, but it's really easy to do. All you have to do is sign in into your app. Uh, online so you could even call in with the number on the back of your freedom card but what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to activate quarter four from there you're gonna be earning five percent back everywhere you go and of course I'm sure you guys probably know this but if you don't the chase freedom is such a lucrative card is that you can convert all of the five percent or really just any cash back that you earn on the freedom card if you have a ultimate rewards card you can transfer all of that cash back into ultimate reward points. Of course, those ultimate reward points are worth more than just the straight cash back. 
On average, if you use the ultimate reward points for travel, you can get about two cents per point, which is twice as much as you'd be getting if you just redeemed it for one cent per point. So one final thing, keep in mind that you're only gonna be earning that 5% back for the first $1,500 that you spend within the quarter. After that, you're gonna only be earning 1% back. But if you do have trouble maxing out that $1,500, there is one tip that I could give you guys for this quarter, and that is gift cards at some of these department stores. So some of these department stores, they do sell gift cards. I would stay away from those American Express, Visa, MasterCard gift cards. You don't, do not want to buy those on the Chase Freedom. Instead, what you want to do is buy gift cards for places that you are going to use or literally for its intended purpose of giving it as a gift. You know, whether it be like a PlayStation card, a Buffalo Wild Wings credit card, just some place that you are going to use that gift card, make sure you buy it from a department store. That way you're going to be getting that 5% back. And of course, that is up to the maximum of $1,500 per quarter. So once you reach that $1,500, you do not need to buy any more gift cards at department stores. But have you guys maxed out quarter three yet? And what do you guys think about the quarter four categories? Let us know in the comments down below. But if you guys liked our content, make sure to like the video and subscribe. It really helps us out. Otherwise, you can support us by following us on Instagram at credit a la carte or directly at our website at creditalacarte.com. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in a, another video.